So um, how we, are we all set for Thursday? Do we know where we're meeting the mayor? Do not, I have not heard anything from NOCA about that, just the time. So I can look back into that. Okay. I also wonder, you know, do we, you know, are we all comfortable? Do we want to go in and do it in person or do we want to suggest Zoom? I just want to know from you guys, what do you think? I'll do whatever works for everybody else. Me too. I might not have a, I might not have a car, so I might need a ride. I'll let you know. Well, well I, I, I could pick you up if that's it. And that's no problem. But I, I, you know, I've been in that office. Once you get past the door and the ante room, it's a big, big space. So yeah, it is a big space and a big table. And so we, yeah. can, you know, so. so I don't care. I mean, if they, if they call it for zoom, so be it. Okay. Yeah. I'll just, I'll, so I'll reach out to Nilka and just, you know, double, double check, you know, on, yeah. What, on whatever the they're comfortable with. Yeah. And whoever wants a ride with me, just let me know if we're going. Okay. I'll let okay. You Thank you. Right. And it's also easy for me to grab Marlene since she's just right down the street from me. So, yeah. okay. Jeff lives right whatever. up near me. Keep in touch. That's all. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh... well, it looks like, uh, Dave, you may get me since we're closer together. All right. That's well, that's a great honor. No, my honor. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right. So that sounds like a winner. So we can we'll, we'll plan on that. And it's just going to be the four of us. So great. Oh, and Sue Ellen, do you want me to send out a notice for I? Didn't, it just blew it off, didn't occur to me. We have a meeting on the 18th. I should send a note out, a uh, Zoom invite out to everybody. I would think so, yeah. Okay, I'll do that tonight. Unless you want me to set it up, I can do I'm, it. I'm happy to do it, I'll just do it. Okay, okay. But I should do it today, so I'll do good, that. Good, good plan. <laughs> yeah, it occurred to me that there's a bunch of stuff I didn't really get to this week. <laughs> Tell me Except about it. I got to Reed's Landing a lot. <laughs> I got to you got to do what comes first. Yep, got to do what comes first. Now, speaking of, of what comes first, um, could I ask again, we talked about three segments to this talk with the mayor. Yep. Um, have I got it straight? One was access. One was enhanced um, something. Enhanced, re enhanced recreation. Yeah, enhanced recreation. And the other was level protection. of protection. protection. I think. Uh, it seemed to me, Jeff, that you had level of protection. And I wasn't sure who had access. Well, enhancement was Dave, so access would have been me. Mar Mar Marlene. That would Marlene have been had that. Which means to me that maybe I'm doing an intro and a wrap up. So if you're comfortable doing that, you know, um, Sue Ellen, you know, kind of the committee charge again, like it is. The, the other one you missed is, you know, the broader area plan. Oh. Well, yeah. I think the broader area comes into um, enhancement and into wrap up. Um, enhancement, because the broader area certainly is going to have an effect on the reservoir and vice versa. And wrap up, because one of the things that I think we will be recommending is that perhaps some of the community development funds, federal funds could be used to set up a program of um, discussion and development between the neighbors in the Northern end of Holyoke, simply because we've got this huge green area that has tremendous recre recreational potential for all levels. Well, passive recreation. 
Yeah. So, all right. So I, I, I agree. I just thought that, you know, it seemed like that broader, you know, that broader area plan was beyond um, kind of our initial charge and, and we had discussed it. it. So, so it seemed like we had to point that out specifically and mention, you know, like Marcos had started off by kind of indicating when he, you know, in our first meeting that, you know, he clearly was aiming in that direction. And we had indicated, well, that's beyond our, our scope, but we set it aside. And I think right now it will be a recommendation that, you know, we're likely to make, although that's what I think the, whole, the committee as a whole hasn't. So I'm just wondering, Sue Ellen, is that a point on its own that we want to discuss like that? Or do you think that is a point that, so you're saying you think you want to discuss that in the wrap up component? I think I want to mention it in the wrap up uh, simply because every one of the surrounding properties, the neighbors, the abutters mentioned it. Yep. Right. Uh, and, and it was a spontaneous mentioning. It wasn't our saying, do you think we want to set up some sort of discussion group? They all said it would be really nice to be able to talk to the other guys up here. And yeah. apparently they did at one point, and then that fell apart. So, and, and the and the idea, so the idea of things like enhanced recreation and access would be different conversations slightly if we're looking at this from a, a broader perspective. I mean, they take on sort of new dynamics because getting to their, if we're talking about you know, how this, you know, how these pieces connect, you know, and recreation that might include pieces of different abutting properties and, you know, acts. So there's a lot of, um, there's things that would affect, you know, some of the ideas we might look at. Well, my, my point really, and I think, uh, Jeff just made it, is that a future um, look at, at the area might include future ways to, to work together. Right. So, you know, it's interesting, as you were explaining that, Sue Ellen, I heard you explaining um, kind of a management committee that would bring all the owners together. That's what I heard them say. That's what I heard the adjacent landowners say. Yeah. But I thought, I think when I hear it, I think differently about the broader area plan than I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about that as more of a, of a visionary plan for the entire north of Holyoke, that would include potential zoning. It would include a strat, you know, a, a gov, you know, a, a, a city strategy for how how to move forward with protections on more than one property. Um, you know, so I see that I, I see the management group as you, you know one of the you know one of the things that, you know a recommendation that needs to be moved forward. And I see that as within our scope. I don't necessarily see this broader, you know, Northern Holyoke planning document, which there hasn't been one looked at since the 1991 thing that you guys were all part of. And I didn't exist around here at that time. So I'm just, so I think both of these are important. I didn't have them. So I'm just, how do we, you know, how do we, want to deal with these things. So, so I'm glad to, to set up the broader area plan as a point of discussion. I'll talk about the long, I can talk about the long-term protection and then I can just talk about Marcos leading into that and ha seeming to have that expectation and mention that we've looked at these other plans, but they don't really address appropriately 
the need right now, but this is more than this group was set up to do. So I can set that up for you, Sue Ellen, to then grab it at, at, at the end or see where we go with it. So I'm glad, but, you know, but it also indicates that we probably, there probably is, you know, the city's engagement in, in bringing together the, the landowners and having, you know, an area plan to, again, it is confusing because it's here, I'm using that terminology and, and I see them as different. I see one, a vision document, and I see one as, you know, an active participation of, of, of ownerships, uh, you know, in, you know, coordinated by some group. Don't you really think that they're part and parcel of the same? If there's no vision, there's not much point in having the owners getting together and talking to each other. They have to know what they're talking about and what possibly they might be aiming for. To, I, I, yes, I agree with that. That doesn't mean that's the way things are always done. Well, and, and again, not. because because one is kind of within our scope and the other is not, mm -hmm. I think we have to first talk about this bigger piece and then somebody does need to talk about kind of, you know, um, a, a management committee or is that what, so how do we want to, what do we want to, what do we want to call that? What do we want to call that? Piece? So, so I think there's, I think you have to tease them out a little bit so we can talk about their pieces, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll just let you guys, I'll shut up for a second. It, it seems to me that, it, like everyone's already said enough times or many times, that we have a charge and we're working our best within it. But the 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 area is the elephant in the room. It always is. It, it, you can't talk about any any even modest enhancements uh, that are physical to uh, the reservoir area without they would have no meaning unless they were or you were they were allowed to be trespassed on other properties. Um, I like the idea of the Community Preservation Act being uh, used uh, as the next step to uh, to support a group or a person or an agency that could uh, stay stay together and see what the uh, neighbors uh, wanted wanted to do or, or suggested or or would follow what had already been led to them. I don't know. But I like that idea. I think that's terrific to just say that might be a, a recommendation. My thinking was really that uh, we were asked to come in essentially with recommendations for the reservoir itself. But one of the outcomes of talking to all of the people that we spoke with and listened to was the same on all sides. It was right. the issues of um, speeding on the roads, lack of ranger or police uh, presence, uh, a need to do something about the uh, graffiti and the vandalism on other properties, uh, the concerns that people had that were all similar to each other's and the, all, the fact that at the same time, all of these properties were used in one way or another by the public and that they felt there was a need for something to be set up for them to come together and talk about the needs and the properties. And perhaps what might be an outcome or one outcome would be a recommendation to go back to the city council, which says, we found that people really want the reservoir to stay the way it is, perhaps be enhanced with um, benches occasionally, but nothing much more than that. On the other hand, everybody in the area is interested in the following. And therefore we suggest that perhaps you might look into setting up a management plan or a position in Holyoke to coordinate these things. You know, finally, how it's going to be written, I certainly don't know at this point, but I, I do think it's, 
we have the responsibility of bringing it back to the council because it is one of the things we found based on what we did to look into the charge they gave us in the first place. I mean, we completely ignored one point that, um, what's his name, Murphy, I think, at uh, the golf course said he'd be very happy to trade X number of parking spaces for water. use of reservoir water. And yeah, I, 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 I have never forgotten the that. Water. Yep, I haven't forgotten that either. Never parking is an issue. Yeah, and 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 all and the word all and anything accessibility has to have if we're serious has to have an answer. Where, where whether it's on at Mountain Park, which is like unlikely as I noted, or it's at Wyckoff, which seems more likely, maybe not as good. But I think you're you, we've got to go in and say the charge was the reservoir. The overwhelming outcome of all the things we've done is that there's not much that can be done to the reservoir and there's not much that should be done to the reservoir. Um, however, we've also been down the other paths that uh, uh, have maybe a different kind of outcome. The other thing I would like to ask about or think about is we're going to see someone who, uh, it, you know, let's say it hasn't had a lot of experience, certainly with us. And I would think it would be our, in our interest to try to tidy that up for Thursday. Are we, are we good to where he's not expecting recommendations? Why, why bring them unless we're certain of them? Good point. I mean, that's how I think. Is is he? I, you know, I don't I don't know him, but I, I liked what he said the night he came uh, by Zoom to our meeting. I particularly liked that he didn't use it for a political platform. Right. Um, so, but I think we're we're in here to to say hello. How are you? Welcome. Here's where we are, and how are we going to do it? And and maybe the idea here is not to refer to our thoughts as recommendations, but to say, these are the, the, the three themes that we're gonna- Yeah, that, there you go. Yeah. The three things, you know, protection, access and enhanced recreation, you know, it's within this construct that we'll develop yeah. those recommendations. Yeah. Well, well, let's believe that he stayed on and watched the whole rest of that, that public hearing and, uh, you know, shared the overall public's feeling that, there's not much that we, we should do and can do. And that, that's, and that's good. That's my guess. I think so you're I, right. So, so I think the language, so, so I think we have to be careful with our, with our language. I don't, I, I tend to agree that we shouldn't necessarily call them recommendations, but I personally think this is an opportunity to lay out in front of Josh some of the things we're thinking about and just get his input. And so these are, I'll share my screen, so. Okay, okay. great. Hold on a second, let me, let me see, I can do this. Oh, I know you can. There, can you, can I made you, you a it? host. You're awesome. It, it appeared to let me do it. So, so if you see, so these again, I didn't take notes last week, but um, so these are the things I wrote down. So that Sue Ellen was going to talk about the committee charge and process. Yep. That again, so these, so we can just call them topics and the things we're yeah. thinking about in each of these things, because quite frankly. We don't have we haven't agreed on recommendations among That's our right, committee. Right. We, right. We, we have we, we don't we quite we quite frankly don't have recommendations. We're yeah, talking we about areas of that we're considering, right? And and so so I, I'm in um, agreement. So Sue Ellen, you see a committee charge and process that you're comfortable, you know, kicking it off with that. Sure. Right. I can go back and get those notes out and have them ready. And, and it, it doesn't have to be great detail. I think he knows, you know. Again, I, he's I think it should be practically no detail. Right. Yeah, exactly. Good for you. But and then and then I and then it seems like the public access is is a no brainer. So that and, and Marlene, that was going to be you to, to lay that out up front. Yeah. 
And then Dave was going to talk about some of these kind of considerations for enhanced recreation. And again, if we're talking about, you know, people being members and stuff, obviously we haven't agreed to any of those kinds of things. No, but no. There are things, right, yeah. right, right, right. But, I'll but be, at any I'll rate, real, these are... I'll, I'll be careful with them. Right. But again, if we, if we say this, these are things, these are considerations, then we just hear, we get his input. Yeah, okay. Right. And he get, and we get to have a conversation. With him. I think okay. that's, I think that's what, because again, I, it may not be fair to say we're giving him recommendations anyway, because then the city council is going to say, what the hell are you doing? No, yeah, we're right. having a conversation about with the mayor about his, you know, where he is. So then I can just talk a little bit about the long-term protection issues and, and, you know, some of the options for under chat, you know, under article 97, if we had a conservation restriction and, you know, where that would pinch Dave Conti and where, you know, it might provide some, some options for the city. And then I, I will lay out, you know, kind of Marcos's vision for this North Holyoke plant, a North Holyoke planning vision. This is what I, I'm seeing this now. And then, so Ellen, maybe you talk about an area management plan and a potential management committee. You know, that was kind of discussed by even, you know, Eric Sewer bought, brought that kind of thing up. There used to be a city management committee that brought us all together, you know, a city group that brought all of So do you want to, I'm going to call it that, or do you guys like something else better? That's why I wanted to pull this up. So I was going to set up the North Holyoke plan. You know, we don't have a vision for the area anymore. There was this plan done in, in 91, but I don't think it was ever really ratified or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know so it's just so out there. We yeah. really don't have anything for that very important jewel of the city. And so I'm just going to set that up and just, you know, with, you know, talking about Marcos believing we really had a need for that, but us saying we didn't, that wasn't our charge as a group. We were supposed to be looking at the reservoir. And then you can say, so but do you want me to- But we did find that all of the abutters were very interested in that idea. Um, basically, I think that we should be ready to be brief. Yes, yes so that he can jump in with questions or comments and that we don't overdo our stay. Right. Or mislead him uh, down a path that we're not there yet. Right. So, so are, are we thinking for each bullet, you, you know, um, so how much time? So right now we have seven bullets here. Can I, are um, you guys seeing Jeff's? No. No. Me neither. Jeff, we're not seeing the screen. Oh my. It says I'm sharing. No, you're not. Not yet. Share again. I'm trying. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. I thought you guys were seeing it. It says. Mm. Huh. All right. I don't know Try if we need to. You're option. pretty clear about it. I just had it written down. I thought it would be helpful, but no, it is helpful. We're we're almost there. It's really good. There you oh, there go. you go. There you go. There you are. Hey. Very good. All right. So, and again, this document. You know, I keep trying to keep all our notes in this kind of document. Yeah. Um, you know, from back since our narrative since we started, but I don't have any from last week. I just wasn't in a position to cap capture them. But okay. so this was, again, plans for the meeting, the mayor's meeting, topics, committee charge and process, that's Sue Ellen. Then the public access is Marlene, enhanced recreation, then long-term protection options, North Holyoke planning vision, and then I had this area management plan and management committee together. I think well. that's overstating because I simply would intend to say we found that the abutters neighbors felt that they all had similar problems and concerns, some of which were, and I can rattle those off, and that perhaps a future, perhaps it would be helpful to have some sort of future group set up or even 
a warden set up for the area to manage a group that would discuss these problems. Yeah. So, that, so, it, so I'm, I'm figuring 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, short. All right, I hear you. So, so I just <clears throat> kept it back to an area management plan. We talked about a vision, and then you have a way that you carry that vision. Out. So is that okay? Yeah, now, right now, right again, 30 seconds to start. No more than five minutes, Marlene. Five minutes, Dave. Seven five. minutes, Jeff. And about one minute, me. Yeah, no problem. I think you'll I think need more. Great. But but so in other words, we're all, this whole thing should be done without Josh's discussion. This whole thing is like 20 minutes, right? Without discussion. At the minutes, most. Absolutely. Right? And yeah. then, and, and so I think we're all thinking in the same place. We're not yeah. going to have any visual aids or anything, right? We're no. just having a conversation. Are, do we want to send this in, in, you know, do I send this in the email to Nilka and say discussion points just to give him a heads up of what we're talking about or just uh, not, just have no, us? Say no. no, 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 okay. no. Okay. The less, the less we write, the better, the less we write publicly, the okay. better we are. Well, you guys are risk averse. And, and I don't think there's any question. He, you better he's, believe it. He's looking forward to seeing this. Okay? He's okay. looking forward to it. He's, he's got interest in it. Okay. So can I ask Dave, did you ever have a chance to catch up with Dave Conti at all after our yeah, discussion? Yeah, I did. I did, but he, I did. And I told him that we'd be, we'd be bringing stuff his way. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm comfortable with where I stand with Dave as far as what we're doing. Okay. And that's why I didn't want to recommendations or anything to sl slip out accidentally because after the mayor would come, would, would he be the next when the time comes? I'm, I'm comfortable that he's, he's, he's apprehensive as he always has, but he's, he's fair. Okay. Yeah, I want to jump in here for a minute on this uh, CR because um, those plans are always written with what the owner wants to accomplish in mind. So there shouldn't be anything that would bother him because if he decided and his board decided they wanted a conservation restriction, they would be planning it and it would be written in such a way and to include such items that would not bother them in the least because they'd Correct. be their ideas to start out with. If you want me to do it, I'm happy to. Um, I agree with you, and not only that, I followed up by before this meeting earlier this after, I read the, the stuff that was sent to us from our last meeting, and it has sounded exactly like I thought it would sound. It's, it's about as, as good and as harmless as you could ever write a document. It, 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 you get everything you want and more, okay? So if you want me to, I don't think we have to, but if you want me to, I'm glad to call them up and say, we're going to see the mayor. We're just going to re give him a refresher of what's going on. Um, uh, there'd be no question that uh, the, the a CR might come, would come up for discussion because it has and it always will. Up to you. I don't think we need it. I agree with you. I agree. I, I, I don't think we need it ahead of time. I didn't yeah, think I that we said we were going to go and have. Yeah, I think that when we go like this, like we're doing now and uh, give them the stuff that we have, which he knows about anyway. It's just he's 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 he's, he's adding a, a bringing just like I used to. He's got a management a million problems on his hand, and he, he doesn't want any more of them. But he's a smart guy. You simply have to say this is actually better if it is better. But at least when you read that document, it's it, it answers any question you might have about uh, somebody being overlorded. That's for sure. Yeah. There, there is a process, though. There would probably be like an annual report, Dave, and some things oh, like yeah. that that he may not be. You know, it's more, you know, like you said, it's more checks. It's more yeah. thing boxes he has to check and more things he has to do. But I agree with Sue Ellen. You know, we can he can make sure it is written to he allow him to do all the things that he needs to do. He's right. just and, going and to have to show that he's so in following that. And the, yeah, the overriding, without a doubt, only thing that would, would need to be considered by them, by him and by his group, which is going to be all brand new, with two, two new members, is 
the fact that um, someone else owns the CR and someone else has a say-so, but it's all been agreed to, but just that simple basic path. And that's just a matter of education uh, and, and a couple of whacks on the head if that's what's gonna happen. But that was the thing that kept saying, coming out to me as I read them. Oh, I, I mean, see. I'm not in charge anymore. I'd like to skip back to recommendations for a minute. I went through the um, information from uh, Pioneer Valley pretty carefully. Yeah, me too. And it appears that they still don't have a handle on exactly where the ownership lies for Whiting Street Reservoir itself. They found only a portion of it, of the property recorded in Hamden County. So that's still up in the air. And they're suggesting a fairly expensive way to go after it. But I am wondering if uh, one of the things that we ought to be recommending is that the city check the registration, see if part of it's in Hampshire County and clarify that ownership when we do our recommendations to the city council. Because yeah, that's, that's a little um, yes, iffy indeed. for the water department and they need better security. There's, yeah. yeah, there's gonna have to be confirmation of the deed and all that stuff. And who, all those, all, someone's gonna have to know all those details before we get to right. a CR stage. Correct. And, and in, even before, as our recommendations are, are, are proposed too. I told you I left it at UMass. I never did get there in the old Hampshire County records. Yeah. Okay, but I think that outline is terrific for Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's so there we are. So I, I'll yeah. just I'll I'll put that little bit in in an email and send it out to all of us, okay. right? So we, so we know what our agenda is, right? So we have our... Yeah, look for, and then maybe... Is that, know, does that look like the right order, by the way? Is that the right order? Oh, I think so, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Perfect. And then, you, you know, we'll see whether they, they want us down there or they don't. And then Sue, uh, you, you and I will uh, get together and see how, uh, when you want me over there, okay? Well, I would say 20 minutes beforehand. I'll be there. Right. So, so do you want to meet? Do you want to try to meet at the office 20 minutes ahead of time? Yeah, I'll meet you. I'll pick you up at 1230. So. Okay. So, so we plan to be there, you know, you know, 15, 20 minutes ahead of time. Well, I think if we're there five minutes early, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we can just talk outside. If we want. From given any number of meetings in mayor's offices. Right. Okay. They're always late. They're always yeah. late. Yeah. I'm sure he's a busy person. Well, we will we'll, we'll be ready and we won't waste his precious time. But I mean, the, the goal here for us should be, you know, we need to have as many, you know, advocates and supporters for, you know, what we have coming out. And so our goal should be to make sure that, you know, He's, you know, and, and I, I think he will be, but we just want to make sure he's going to be supportive of what we're thinking of. Yeah. You know, he's been up in Blandford and one of the things he learned early on in Blandford, because that's the kind of population they have up there, is the importance of sustainability in everything you do environmentally. Yeah. And he's with it. He's really with it. That'd be a great cross section up there. Lots of lots of old people who've lived there a long, long time historically, and lots of rich people and all kinds of different stuff. Nice community, little tiny but nice. One of my favorite golf courses. <laughs> oh, good to know. Yeah, it's only nine holes. It's wonderful. So has anybody, so I have to tell you, at work, I'm just smashed. So I, I haven't had much time to, to
to look back into our kind of, you know, we were hoping to kind of flush out our report a little bit more. Has anybody had a chance to do that at all? No, I had, I did not have a good week for that. Yeah. Me, no, I'm really busy, luckily. <laughs> okay, so we'll just have to come up. So just, you know, while we're on topic here, is, do we have an agenda for next, for next week? You know, yeah, are, I think, I think for the agenda for next week, we should, you know, talk through what we've been doing, you know, um, and the, um, we should begin to think through, I think, um, where, where this group is on developing recommendations and then how the report, how to set the report up to get us to those recommendations. You know, what's the right information you know, what are the right pieces? But we have to get some collective agreement, I think, on the recommendations before we go too far. So, so do we want to share? So, I, do we want to first share with them, you know, the discussion, you know, meeting with the mayor? Or not? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sure. Okay. And then, and then, kind of the process we've been following to, you know, yep. for the, for the report, you know, yep. that we have an outline. We have an outline. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about recommendations. And, and there might be a few other ideas out there that we haven't considered. Always possible. You know, one of the things that I know Kate is going to bring up because she is so concerned about it, and that is the access to the area for people who don't have easy transportation and for lower income groups. And I think that's something we have to think about. Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. How can you not? One of the things in the um, Pioneer Valley report that came through was that the places that had reservoirs that had been brought online for use by the public in any way uh, were all passive or pretty much all passive recreation. And nobody made any special arrangements for special needs access um, and said, frankly, they didn't want any more activity at the reservoirs than they already had. And therefore it was something they didn't even want to consider. Just something to think about. And that's something yeah. we should think about too, I guess. Yeah, and you can, you can hear the, white, the Water Commission talking about it right now. but it's gotta be brought up. You know, cause more, more people accessing will enhance the upper, uh, the options for, you know, to be more people, more, you know, once there's more people, there's more uh -huh. things that could happen. Well, that's also, negative. What, what we've talked about in our enhancement talk is that you know, nothing can really happen without being ready and being in a position to accommodate it. Precisely. All right. Can you guys still see my screen? Yes. Yes. I love the way you're writing as we talk. Yeah, they're very impressive. So, so again, we're talking about the agenda. Here's what I wrote down. Report on meeting with the mayor process and outline for developing the committee report so we can really just share, we can you know, share what, that how line. we started yeah like, like we had you know we we went from our kind of powerpoint document and our article and we captured that and we built the outline and then and then we got have gotten kind of sucked up into the mayor's thing but at any rate but then <laughs> we can talk about kind of the potential recommendations so that gives us a chance to talk about things then we need to I think we need to discuss the process for how we're going to finalize these recommendations. Yes. We, we, we haven't really, we haven't done that as a group, you know? No, I, I'm then, with you. And, and then there's, and then you mentioned 
So I'll mention, um, uh, including underserved, you know, how do we address underserved communities, that kind of issue. Mm. Is that, do you want to say that a different way? Is that, did I, did I capture that? Well, I mean, there well, were pieces, pieces of things that we had talked about before, like, you know, is there, are there education opportunities there somehow? Correct. Are there, you know, all these things. But, you know, once we start doing stuff, it just adds to the mix, you know, important in a community like Hoyoke to have resources and, act, you know, resources for people who need them. I mean, Hoyoke's a community, a pop, you know, with, a, you know, high poverty. So you want to make sure that there's equal here. Well, so I had education down there. Yeah. Jeff. Pardon? Why don't you add je uh, education under other opportunities? It came up a hundred times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it environmental education or just education? Environmental education. <laughs> Do we want to call it outdoor environmental education or just in environmental? Um, I think outdoor environmental sounds good. Yep. That's, that's what people talk that's about. That's what teachers call it. Yeah. And that's what it would end up being. Okay. So, I mean, I think that's a lot for, for us sure to talk is. about, but that just, that's just teeing up a Again, we could tee up 50 things here, just like we have above. Right. But we are going to lay out the ones that we laid. I, I do think in our update, from the report on the meeting with the mayor, we're gonna talk about the things we talked about, right? So those things are already gonna be laid out, right? As issues, right? right? Yep. When we talk about that and then, but uh, yeah. And then, that's it. That's <laughs> good. Doesn't need to be bolded though. Right. So Why not? That's, that's good, Bull. Okay. Good final statement. It's good. Okay. So do do we need to also? So here's the process and outline for developing the committee report. We talked about again. This is a meaty discussion here. The potential recommendations and the process for finalizing recommendations. When we talk about that, that process for finalizing recommendations, are we also going to say we're going to go and and also you know meet with Dave Conti and and then or, and are we going to go? Do we want to talk to the to? Do we want to have the same conversation with the council ahead of our report, or or is that getting pretty sticky? You know, we were asked to come up with recommendations to study the situation and basically <clears throat> when you think back about it the counselors that brought in the request for this to happen were looking for ways to uh, ameliorate the cost of fixing the sluice way the two million dollars they were concerned about ways they could actually uh, use the reservoir itself to develop funding for the reservoir. And that just didn't happen. So I think all we should be doing is going back to them with our findings and with whatever recommendations we feel are appropriate. I don't think we need to involve them in a preliminary discussion or the water department in a preliminary discussion. We know the answers to any questions we're gonna ask again. So it, so I would, so I don't disagree with that at all, but, and, and, and I think, but I do think we have some options here for how we wanna do it. And I think if we feel strongly about how to move some of these forward. I think we all understand that there might be ways to build support for some of those things ahead of time. In other words, if we drop this in a way on Dave Conti 
that he doesn't like this and we haven't really talked it through on the CR, he'll figure out a way to kill it. Um, and, and so um, that's just one example. I think we can, and, but I think that can be, as, to use your word, um, so Alan, ameliorated by a conversation that really lay, like, like we got from Jennifer, where we say, you get to, you get to create this document and make it, make, sure, make it so you can live with it. It's going to come with some, some things that, that uh, you're going to have to do that you won't be as crazy about, but it also protects this in, in the long term for you. So you don't have to fight a back, you know, a, a, a rear flank action. Uh, kind of thing. So I, I'm just saying, so, so we can have that same discussion. Um, there may be others also, or we can just put it out there and say, here it is. And you guys take it as, as, as you please. I think those are choices, but we haven't discussed that, at, you know, at, as a I, group. I think, so, I kind of think chatting with Dave Conti so that, you know, if we put this out somewhere, that it doesn't just get squished before we even, you know, before the ink's dry. You know, so seeing if we can get him to be supportive in some way, we're better well, off doing I, that. Well, I, the way it's been going so far uh, is just to keep him, just so it's not a surprise. And, and, and Dave, I think, you know, I, I did, you know, I think you're probably doing that. So when I use that as an example, it, again, it may be that we don't need to do it. And, and I also agree, Sue Ellen, that if we go and have conversations with the, with the city council, ahead yeah. of time, we are significantly complicating our lives. Yeah, so I, 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 I believe me, I understand that. So I don't necessarily think that is, is the case, but. Um, no, but anyway. nor, nor do I. And if, 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 if it's only uh, to keep doing what a little I'm doing with, the, with Dave, that's fine by me. Because just all I care about is that he doesn't say, you, you, why didn't you tell me that? That's all I, I I've, he's, he's got his job to do, we have our job to do. But I'd like to be able to keep him informed of what, just what the outcomes are coming like to look like. So do we think, do you guys think right now that we should all, this group of four people should go and, and have the same conversation with Dave? Um, I, I, I do. I don't think we don't, we don't have to, but uh, he and I are, 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 we can almost understand what the other guy's going to say before it happens. Um, it's up to you. I can do it. Glad to do it. Glad to have you come along. I, Why don't I think you it, ask it, him if he'd like to meet with everybody? Yeah, yeah, not everybody, but this what uh, this this, group. this smaller group. Yeah, because yeah. I'll say the same thing as we we did it with the mayor, and uh, we'd like to do it with you. Yeah, that's I, I I like that. I do too. I really do. I have since we thought about it earlier. Yeah, and I'm it won't take that. long, and we can do it just like this. Um, we can meet him. Uh, we can set it up. Um, he, he has a big room too. Just putting it in there so people understand. So then the only so so you guys, I something I just thought about is we're having the full committee meeting. Do do we need to announce it on, you know, for next week? Does Jeffrey need to put it out? Like we didn't yes, do Jeffrey, that. But. Jeffrey needs his information before noon tomorrow. Yeah, I'll send. It, I'll do that. <clears throat> okay, so I so I'll send these notes again to you. To, you, to all you guys, and so you'll have this. You can just clip this out, sure. you know, for the agenda and such. Okay. So the process and outline for the developing the report. I mean, I we talked about that at the the last time we got together, and we that was when we formed the the small group to do the you know put the report together. So we kind of already talked about that. But but we didn't have the outline in place, and but we, we had have the outline started. In place. The, and we hadn't started to flesh it out. So, I mean, right. I can call that something else if you want. Yeah, let's call but it, you're right. uh, you know, review of review of outline or something. You know, or preliminary outline or something.
I just thought it would might be. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can see how blazingly fast I am. Fine. Perfect. Conti with an I. Jeff, yep. Dave Conti's last name. Ends an I, not E. Thanks for that. <clears throat> if, if, the, if the Mr. Conti with a C was still around, it would be all a lot easier. Maybe, maybe not. Spell burgers, right? Yep. Yes, I hope so. I think so. Terrific asset he is, huh? I'm sorry. Yes, quite. Remind me what? Yes. No, I did not. We're hearing you, Sue Ellen. Pay no I attention to Ginger barking in the background. Goodbye. Wait. <clears throat> Is there any, are there any other next steps in here that we need? No, I think we're, I think we're okay. I do too. That's a good, really, really nice, nice setup. Thank and you for the, doing that. Yeah, thanks a lot. That Anderson Burgos is hyphenated. Oh, see, what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> the, and the mayor's outline is great, Jeff, too. That would be nice. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to, so I'm just going to send you guys this Perfect. this again and you can again you can go back and see the previous discussions to to the extent that i captured them. thank you for doing um, this it's keeping my brain organized marlene no easy also, trick <laughs> marlene you yes. have to let scott know to get the meeting on the 18th up on the cloud i don't know if um this meeting has been recorded for the cloud but I'm not sure it's necessary. What? Which meeting? Committee tonight. Oh, I am recording we, it. We, we, okay. we haven't done that at all, have we? No, I do have them recorded though. Well, so are we a quorum? Are we a quorum? How many? How many people in our group? <clears throat> I think it's any time two or more people meet. I, th I thought it had to be a. I thought it was if it was a quorum, but. Okay, I don't know. The only thing, member Jennifer asked us last week not to record it, so I stopped the recording last week. So we didn't talk to Jennifer last week. Yeah, if you go into executive session, you don't have to record. That's it, I forgot that. Okay, <clears throat> so we were in executive session with Jennifer. Yeah, I, I hereby... Um, well, you better get that into your minutes. Before go into executive session <clears throat> starting last Christmas. Somebody has to move to go into executive session. Right. So move is what you say. Too late. <laughs> Don't you guys remember that? <laughs> Yeah.
You want a motion? You want to do that? Just going to put here in executive session. And again, I don't have minutes from last time. I have some scribbled stuff, but I wasn't. Right. As I had said from the beginning, I wasn't taking it. <laughs> Don't get too much information into this. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, you see, I don't. Yeah, that's good now. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't uh, even put in similarities. I just would say we discussed bear hole. CR. That's all. All right. Cool. My cur curiosity is done. So I <laughs> is there anything else we need to? It on. Nope. So after the mayor's meeting Thursday, and after um, we, you know, when when do we want to reconvene? Or we'll after the Tuesday, we'll set up the Dave Conti meeting and go from there. Maybe we could plan to meet in in you know um, two weeks. Two weeks from the eighteenth, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we can talk about that and you know at the next meeting too we can set that up but but i'm i would be good with that okay. but meeting every week is getting harder yeah yes yeah um, i would only ask that we we hasten the meeting with the with dave Conti. yeah well, I agree. that could be arranged quicker yeah when you guys want to try to do you want to try to set that up yeah, I mean, I, when when would you like? I my schedule is pretty easy. I mean, he works during the day. I could ask him to do it at right after work or during work. Shouldn't take too long. Somebody, I can, I don't, I don't have the Zoom like, invitation. Like like a four o'clock, you know, kind okay. of meeting could could work for me. Tell me when, and I'll set up the Zoom day. All right, I'll try it tomorrow. I'll, I'll see. I'll pick a date. Uh, won't be uh, it won't be Monday before we have our regular meeting. Unless you wanted to try for it. Uh, I don't know. Whatever works. Maybe, maybe we could shoot for our, like, our, the, the following Tuesday. Like, we, okay. You know, that, okay. that would put it, you know, so. Um, Good. I'll do that. Four o'clock. Does every, everybody handle a, a Zoom by four? Sure. I think so. Marlene, you'll be the, the, the host. <laughs> I'll Give be me a host. number. Yep. Okay. Give me a number for the date. The date will be uh, 25. Yes. Does, does that work for you, Sue Ellen? Oh, yeah. Okay. 4 p.m. By Zoom. If it works for him, I'll set it up. Okay. My problem is that uh, Holyoke Soldiers Home meetings are coming fast and furious all of a sudden. Sorry. I'm not surprised. So it could be either four or five, as far as I'm concerned, whatever yeah. works. Whatever works for day is fine with me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, let us know like Zoom or in person on Thursday. Yep. Yeah. Hang on, Maureen. Marlene, do I have your, I think I have your cell, right? So I can figure out how to pick you up. 
Yeah, um, 413. Hang, hang on. Yep. Got it. 413. 537. Okay. 5362. 5362. I think I have it, just in case. Yeah, so just text me. I'll, 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 plan, I'll plan on picking you up around 1230 ish. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your home number? House or, uh, I mean, address? No, no, I know your house. No, no, what, what's your number in case I, I got to call you? 536-5990. Got it. Otherwise, I'll see you at 1230 in your driveway. Okay. Go. All right, you guys. Thank you. That was very you guys, good. You guys Bye, do guys. good work. You guys do good you work. Do good work. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Be well. Be well, Be everybody. Bye-bye. Well, Bye-bye. Good night.